And I'm Barnes. That's Leslie. Look, there's Jimmy. JB in the house. Here he is. Jimmy, hanging out for the hour. Tomorrow, be here at this time. Leslie, I have something for you that you are going to love. I'm telling you. Why don't you. I know about it? Because I don't tell you everything. Dang. It's going to Trust me. This will be a staple, I believe, moving forward. I have stumbled upon something that is so fun that, I, I mean, I you like can tell that. by my excitement. I mean, and we're going to have the people on who created this company that I'm going to share with you tomorrow. So that's tomorrow. Is this a surprise for me? It's, I mean, ish. It's not okay. really like for you. It's for the people, Leslie. Okay. As long as it's for the people. Try not to be selfish anymore, <laughs> Leslie. It's about the people. I might have to listen to this. Yes, tomorrow, 8.05. Ooh, on the Steve Show today, Steve's College of Musical Knowledge, 145. Tickets for, and uh, also to qualify for VIP tickets, to the Atlanta Beer, Bourbon, and Barbecue Festival at Atlantic Station. It's on a Saturday, February 24th. We're going to be there with Mutation Brewery serving up our new 99X beer, the 99 Experiment. You can find out more at atlanta.beerandbourbon.com or be here at 145 on The Steve Show to win tickets. Hear it all with Steve. So, guys, I am on red alert for my Cybertruck delivery. Oh, this, is un- this is unreal. <laughs> I, got the, I got it last week. I got the info, and now I'm like, I can't stand it. I have not seen one yet on the road here. They're only in California and Texas right now. I think there's a reason you haven't seen one on the road. Okay, Jimmy. Because no one wants to be seen in one. Jimmy, what is worse? And Leslie, you too. Yeah. Me in my cyber truck on the road yeah. or people out in the wild with the new Apple headset walking around doing their hand swipes in the air and playing. Yeah, that thing's just stupid. I haven't seen those. You haven't seen? Oh, look at the videos. Vision Pro. I haven't seen it. Really? I have not seen it in the wild. I think I saw videos of it, but I haven't seen it in the wild. Uh, so you are due to get your cyber truck Any day. Um, and Leslie, I think you'd be good for a cyber truck. No, that listen. That's your personality. I think you were shocked the last time we told you that Lanny thinks it's cool. Oh, my God. And, uh, Barnes knows what I think about it, but I cannot believe he's getting one. I am not ready for the attention that it brings. I am about the car. I don't care about, like, <laughs> answering 50 questions at a light. So just heads up. But that's like, but that's like wearing the the no. Trump's shoes. Just because like, I the, like you, it, yeah. Not uh, the Trump shoes. Just because yeah. I like. <laughs> I mean, the cyber I, truck. I'll get a cyber truck the day I get the Trump gym shoes. <laughs> it's like well, it's, and I told Jimmy, I said, "Hey, tell uh, Micah that I'll come take him to school." And he goes, ah, "He's got a a, a seventy four Honda Accord." I was like, "Listen," I was like, "You better tell him because sometime this is going to come up that I offered it and that you didn't tell him is going to be trouble." Okay, so I made a list, Leslie, of 10 celebrities that I think would be caught dead in a cyber truck. Oh, here we go. And you tell me, these are, in my my opinion, these are the people who I I see driving a cyber truck. Here we go. Okay, and you tell me if you agree. Barnes, I don't know if Barnes can be objective about this, all right? (sighs) Try to be. Um, I can. Try to be. I can. Okay. Um, Conor McGregor. Totally. Okay. Gronk. Yeah. No, totally. Gronk. Gronk. Right. The Rock. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. NBA. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Travis Kelsey, if Taylor allows him to. I'm yeah. thinking more Jason Kelsey. I agree. But I yeah, can see Jason. Travis. Bro. Yeah, yeah they're, they're interchangeable to me. Vin Diesel. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Gene Simmons. Mm, I don't know if I see that. No, because he because it would have to be a Kiss car. Oh well, he could get it wrapped. He would definitely get a Cyber Truck wrapped yeah. with Kiss. That's uh, by true. By the way, but, I've already had someone ask me if I would wrap it, and for the right amount of money, I might. Oh, that would be <laughs> so. <funny. laughs> I can see that for the right amount of money the and right the right, right mo- brand. Oh, such a spectacle! It's such a spectacle. What about ninety nine X? Would they wrap it? Well, uh, we don't have any money. Yeah, I was going to say if they pay, <laughs> and and Barnes. He's the last of the listen, list. Listen, listen. Right. This falls right inside brand standards. I love oh, technology. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the guy who made fun of Tesla, by the way, day one, who bought one, and now is probably on his second 
Tesla? Me? Yeah, Jimmy yeah. Barron. Yeah, I'm on my second. Yeah. Yeah, and you made fun of me for that eight years ago or whenever it was. I don't think I made fun of you for the Tesla. Yeah. The Tesla's because the Tesla looks like a car. The Cybertruck looks like the Mars Rover. Would you drive? <laughs> it does. It, it kind of does. Would you drive the Mars Rover? Okay. Uh, I hear you. Uh, wait, did you finish your list? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay, well, you didn't bring... Uh, what about Sylvester Stallone? Oh, yeah. so Stallone. Yeah, Stallone. That's he a good fit. one. I do have a question. Yes. Who from our family is going to have the inaugural ride? Well, you're... Okay. you're that's the here. thing. I want to. <laughs> I, think, I think this needs to be documented with Jimmy Barron. After Jimmy, all that, I do want to ride in it. I'm telling you, if you would just listen to me, if we yes. did a caravan... And I chauffeured you as your Uber for the day in the Cybertruck. You're going <laughs> to get press. From house to house. Oh, this has oh to happen. Keller Williams. Please. Yeah. I'm telling you. This has Williams. to happen. Now, someone told me, tell me if this is right. Someone told me just the other night that those things are bulletproof. They're bulletproof. I don't think the glass is, but you can throw a baseball. The beauty is you can park anywhere. If a door opens into your car, it's not going to dent it. It's going to dent theirs. Well, because plastic doesn't ding. It's steel. Okay. It's stainless steel, Jimmy. Uh, so I need a ride around with Jimmy Barron. What does it say about the psychographic of uh, the Cybertruck driver that it needs to be bulletproof? I think like, that's who's just... who's shooting at you? That just felt... Well, you are in Buckhead. Oh. You never know when a stray bull right. is coming. Mm. But you... I think that was just a byproduct of the vehicle. I don't think they intended for that to be the thing. They're not like standing on that like as a marketing. It's showing up in places. They're not. Yeah, I don't think they want that. Oh, but anyway. So does it only come in one color? Yeah, you can wrap it, though, for a different color. Hey, I just need to mention real quick. I mentioned uh, off the cuff an hour ago. I was talking about Jamaica. I wanted to give you the stats on that. By the way, it was 65 murders in January. I was talking about how the U.S. State Department is warning you yeah. for travel not to go to Jamaica. I saw and that, yeah. It is bad. 65. Mm-hmm. And I asked you, even in the like all-inclusive places, correct? And yes, and they're stating here, and they're also saying Bahamas, by the way. Wow. They're saying oh. Jamaica. And it's, uh, I'm seeing a lot of people ask for spring break recommendations. That's why I am bringing this up. So, And you may not know that you shouldn't go there. Basically, the whole Kokomo song. Yes. I was Aruba, say, Bahamas, I you no, Jamaica. Not, I mean, Aruba, Aruba. Yeah. not Aruba. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and they're even saying, you know, some rapes and things like that behind resort gates. Beware. Well, and I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I mean, you spend more time in the Caribbean than I do, but um, they can still get you, like, on the beaches. Right? Like, yes. even in those all inclusives, yeah. I think it's hard to monitor the beaches. They have guards, yeah. you know. It's, yeah, I they, saw armed guards when we went to uh, Dominican Republic all over they? the beaches. Yeah, yeah. nothing okay. says vacation like standing around with dudes with machine guns. Right. <laughs> Seriously. Right. So, yeah, right. just um, if you're thinking about Jamaica or Bahamas, just check with the State Department before you do that. This, uh, this headline says it all. I don't even think I need to tell you the story, but Post Malone got tattoos. Of Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes' signatures what? after losing a Super Bowl beer pong bet. This sounds like one of the old Morning X bets where people right. had to get tattoos. Right. Where where would he put them? I mean, you're not going to notice them, obviously. Yeah, he got he are he, apparently he got them. Hmm. He had ta- yes, he had a he had a tattoo artist sitting right there. He just happened to be right there in the back of the room. It's unbelievable. It's a hot thing right now to get tattoos removed. Like, it is It is a it, very big movement. It I'm, hurts, too. I heard it's brutal. Yeah, very painful. And I like, uh, but I like when they try to cover up a tattoo. You mean with other words? With other words or other images, yeah. That's always entertaining. Do you have a tattoo? Me? No. Do you? Yeah, you have a, you do, you have a longhorn. But I didn't know if you had, you know, since we last, in, you know, investigated you, that you might have added something underneath all that real estate armor. I don't. Well, you know, here's the thing. First of all, Jews are not allowed to get tattoos. But beyond that. Really? I There's nothing that I can think of that I would com- make that kind of commitment to. Like, what do I have so much love and passion for that I would want to uh, put it on my body? Yeah, we talked about this. No, that was, Leslie, that was when he was talking about our show. 
about lack I, of commitment. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that, was, that was a different yeah. conversation. Same a context-ish. Uh huh. Leslie, if you got a tattoo, so Barnes, we said you have a Longhorn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's on your ankle, if I remember. No, isn't it's it? on my arm. Oh, it's on your arm. Okay. Yeah. Leslie, if you got mm-hmm. a tattoo, if what would what would it be? Yeah, it's got to be. It has to do something with shopping, probably. Well, and where a would shop- it be? <laughs> Shopping, shopping tattoo. Like a cart? <laughs> what is like a, a shopping <laughs> tattoo? Don't you imagine you remember? that tramp stamp? It's like a little person <laughs> pushing a cart. Do you not remember? Yeah. Wait, you forgot bag. about our bobbleheads. Uh, huh? I had a little shopping bag, little purse. Well, that's not a tattoo. Yeah. No. What about a, or a Lululemon logo? No, no, no. Well, where, what would it be? It's just nothing that, I don't know. I just don't right. really think. Okay, well then where would that's, it go? If you were oh, Forced? Forced? Somewhere where you couldn't see it when you saw me, like, you know, like on your back or someplace like that. Pick a place. Where would Leslie Fram's tattoo go? Again, uh, some place that's not visible. Well, be specific. You want the back bit, of the neck? Know, something small on your back. Jimmy, yeah. where would yours go? I, I guess I've thought about this. Uh, I don't have much of a bicep, so I wouldn't put it there. <laughs> a short word. Yeah, I mean, maybe, I guess maybe like on the inside of my forearm. If I really? Put, like, I don't, I, he thought about this. Uh, At closings, apparently. you're going to have a tat? No, maybe not. I mean, I could see having, you know what? I could see having a tramp stamp. I, that's that's me. you. I would definitely do the tramp stamp. <laughs> so you, we'll be back. Jimmy's here for the hour. This is 99X.